Oh, okay, we got major dryer problems. And so actually, if you take your dryer apart, and here's a little disclaimer for you. Uh, you might want to plug, unplug it before you mess around with it. If you're in doubt, consult a professional. I give phone advice for a fee, $25, 95 Pacific Time, 707-443-8347. Yeah, so this one was making a lot of noise. That's the main thing. And then if we look at the roller, we can see that this roller is kind of out of round here. It's basically worn out. It was on the shaft flapping back and forth and causing the belt to grab onto the idler. And if you do run your dryer with a bad roller, it will eventually shred that belt. Well, luckily, it's still intact, but it's kind of worn. And so if you check your rollers and make sure they're good, these here I just lubed. And I sell a special combination of oil that I uh, mix up for these. If you're interested in the oil, it's only $19.95 for the special blend. It includes a Teflon uh, lubricant and a uh, turbine engine uh, lubricant. And so the address is 7021 Eureka, California. P.O. Box 7021 Eureka, California. And so they said this dryer was not heating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it before uh, I take the back off. Because I've already tested the components up here. I took the meter and I tested the continuity in the line here. I tested continuity here. There should be continuity on these uh, coils between these two and between the side coils and the middle coil. Uh, this side in the middle and then this other side in the middle. There should be continuity there. And if we check the motor, we see the motor is good. We don't have any slop in the motor. The shaft's not moving back and forth. The motor's spinning freely, so that's a good sign. And here we have a good felt, so that this is good here. The skids are good here. And we also see here the skids are good here. And so the next thing we're going to have to check is we're going to have to pull this thing out from the wall a little bit. And be careful with that flex line, because that uh, yellow flex line there, uh, it wears out after... Uh, well, theoretically, it's not, not made to go in and out. Um, a good technician would probably replace that each time. And that vent is okay. There's no major kinks in it. And so let's take the back off. And it's going to be probably that thermal fuse in the back. The thermal fuse is, uh, will normally blow when you do back-to-back -back loads and or if you have a plugged vent or you have p poor flow in the room. So if you have all your... Uh, doors and windows closed and you're running your dryer the uh, the flow may be constricted so you want to make sure you have proper flow there is a mathematical formula for each uh, dryer and it requires a certain amount of inlet air so be mindful okay so we have the door switch hook on here if you do uh, take your front panel off by these screws here and the top screws here you have to lift up to get to this part you do take this off, be careful about your uh, door switch because these door switches can break very easily. The wiring uh, connected to that switch can break very easily. And so I have it plugged in, turned on, and we can hear that the timer is actually moving. It's ticking. So you can hear it in there ticking, and that's a good sign. So that means we got power to the timer, and the timer is most likely going to be advancing. So we're going to turn it on, and we're going to watch and see what happens down here. Usually what will happen is the glow bar will glow for about a minute and then uh, the uh, valves will turn on and let the gas in. And so after you've checked everything, make sure that the wires are, of course, back connected on again. And so this is important to make sure that all the connections are tight and be careful with this one because it's going to be hot. That white wire is going to be hot or these two wires may be hot. So be careful with those. Okay. okay, so we have the motor running, and we have the igniter igniting, and the gas is turned on. Okay, so there's heat, so... Um, so that, what we want to do is we want to try that about two or three times because what happens is these coils can actually 
um, be, uh, they will read good when they're cold. So they'll show continuity when they're cold. And after you've heated them up a couple of times, then they'll sh they'll go bad. So uh, it's good to check the fire up a couple of times before you go to the next thing or figure it's fixed. And so what happens is you have to turn it off and you have to let that flame sensor cool down for about two minutes before you can turn it back on. And so you can kind of blow on it a little bit to cool that, help it cool down. And so this is of course the idler and you want to make sure this thing is free flowing. I've already lubed it with my special lubricant here. And once again if you're interested in some high quality lubricant I have a special blend mix I sell and you can contact me for that if you want. And this idler is set right in here. This dryer is actually, this design is probably 20, 30 years old. But they still use a similar design. But they make the metal a little bit thinner. So this is, these are like the Toyota Cor Corollas of the dryer design. Okay, let's give it another test here. One more test. And then what I'll do is I'll watch it. And then uh, put it back together and then if it fires up this time, it's go. Um, if, if, and then what I'm going to do, I'll put it back together and then try it one more time and make sure. So the third time is a charm on the fire up. So this one seems to be working fine. And so if you're interested, I give phone advice for a $25 fee, 707-443-8347, 9 to 5 Pacific Time. And if you'd like to send me a donation, all donations help to support reuse and recycling worldwide. Thanks for watching. And thanks for keeping the old stuff alive. Okay, third time's a charm. Fire and we have fire in the hole. Go cat go. Okay, so there we have fire. So we have heat. And we're gonna check the vent too got some sunshine here today. Watch out for that shit. That's one of those artificial clouds done without environmental impact report. Okay, so if we check the dryer vent here, we see the vent is clear. Get the debris down here. You can feel it's flowing pretty good. So that's your dryer tip for today. Thanks for watching.